It's a WhatsApp message that the deceased wrote and she sent it to the accused on 27 January and the time was 16 hours 17 minutes and 34 seconds. And that read? And it's a, quite a long message, my lady, but I'll read it into the court record. I'm not 100% sure why I'm sitting down to type you a message first, but perhaps it says a lot about what's going on here. Today was one of my best friend's engagements, and I wanted to stay longer. I was enjoying myself, but it's over now. You have picked on me incessantly since you got back from CT, and I understand that you are sick, but it's nasty. Yesterday wasn't nice for either of us, but we managed to pull through and communicate well enough to show our care for each other is greater than the drama that attacked us. I was not flirting with anyone today. I feel sick that you su suggested that and that you, you made a scene at the table and made us leave early. I'm terribly disappointed in how the, the day ended and how you left me. We are living in a double standard relationship where you can be made, mad. you can be mad about how I deal with stuff when you are very quick to act, cold and offish when you're unhappy. Every five seconds I hear how you dated another chick. You really have dated a lot of people, yet you get upset if I mention one funny story with a long-term boyfriend. I do everything you make, I do everything to make you happy and to not say anything to rock the boat with you. You do, do everything to throw tantrums in front of people. I have been upset by you for days, for two days now. I'm so upset. I left Darren's party early. So upset. I can't get that day back. I'm scared of you sometimes and how you snap at me and of how you will react to me. You make me happy 90% of the time and I think we are amazing together. But I am not sure, no, no. I'm not some other bitch you may uh, now know trying to kill your vibe. I am the girl who let go with you, even when I was scared out of my mind too.